Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Confessions with me, Alicia. It has been a month since my last confession, so yeah, I miss y'all. Like, I really do enjoy doing confessions. Um, as I was preparing, you know, this confessions, I was like, you know, uh, I thought about myself sitting in like the little box, like confessing to the caprice. Like, it's been, you know, um, whatever. 30 days since my last confession or whatever. But anyway, I'm back. Thank you for being here. Um, as you know, like I have my blog in front of me. I write a lot. So I do my blog, my blog, and I go back and forth. Um, so yeah, so let's get to it. As you know, like my name's Alicia. Um, confessions is where I share my experience as a small business owner. Um, I share them again on my blog and then I record them for my blog. I release them a few times a month, but my goal is starting today, starting today, right now, I'm going to release them weekly. So when I first started confessions, I was doing it weekly and then, you know, life was life in and then I started doing it like bi-weekly and then look what happened now it's a whole month has passed since I've done a confessions and I have a lot to say so I'm gonna I'm gonna um get back to doing it weekly basically as you know with life um consistency brings results and I need to be more consistent with everything in life but I want to be more consistent with my confessions um so yeah, so it's a new episode, it's a new week, it's a new vibe, new energy. Um, okay, so let's see what's been going on. So like literally I have to go back like four weeks, right? Because I started writing this like four weeks ago. So um, something I've learned over the past few days. Oh my God. So this is something not really business related, something life related, but something that has come to me. So I will be turning 41 soon and that is not in my, um, that's not in my blog, but it's something, I, something that like I've been having like all of these revelations in my, this chapter of my life from 40 to 41. And one of them I've had recently is like writing my own story, right? So something that people talk about frequently is like, write your own story, be the author of your own story, blah, 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 right? And I talk about that too, but I just had this revelation of like, I haven't been writing my own story. Even though like I thought I've been writing my own story, like I haven't because I don't do things or I do things because they've been done, right? Like, but it's, or I think I can't do something because it hasn't been done. And it's like, that's the whole point of writing your own story. It's like, it's your story. You create like the path of your life, the path of your business, you know? So that's just something that I've been, um, working on. So, um, not working on, but something that recently came to me. Um, what did I say? Uh, something I've learned over the past few days is I've been looking at and writing my story wrong, thinking it's going to look like someone else's, focusing on how I, uh, focusing on how I think things should be because of how someone else has done them, rather than flowing in a way and writing my story so it's my story. Um, your story is yours. Your vision is yours. So it will not look like anybody else's. And I think that's one of the, the issues that I've been having is I want my story to look like someone else's kind of subconsciously to look like someone else's and it's not going to look like someone else's because it's my story. Like my business is not going to look like anyone else's. Your business is not going to look like anyone else's. Uh, just because you uh, are doing it differently doesn't mean um, it's wrong, right? Like because it's your story. So that's just something that I've been thinking about. Um, okay, look, literally like go back. So, um go back like four weeks ago my week started off great right like um right after I recorded my last blog I talked about writing down tasks writing down your goals and wait pause because it looks so dark in here standby okay so much better like the natural light I love the natural light so I do have this ring light here but I prefer natural light. So anyway, um, I, I talked about writing down goals, writing down tasks. And um, so I woke up that morning ready, right? Ready to take on the world. And then as soon as I went into my office, I instantly got overwhelmed. And um, I've been overwhelmed and 
overwhelmed and underwhelmed ever since. Like for the past four weeks, literally overwhelmed, underwhelmed and distracted. And I think one of the things is like I talked about earlier is the whole my story, like writing my story wrong. And that's why I've been not writing my story wrong, but writing my story like someone else's story. So I think that's where the overwhelm, underwhelm distractions have been coming from. Cause I'm like, why aren't things going this way? And it's like, they're not going to, they're not going that way. Cause they're not supposed to, right. They're supposed to go your way, not the way of someone else or what, how you um, think they should go just flow, right? Like things are just going to flow. So, um, something else that I'm starting is cause like I want more interactions, but I don't like YouTube comments, right? Like I'm not going to go back and check YouTube comments. And also like, uh, I find YouTube comments to be, um, there's like bots and then there's like, um, trolls. And so I just, I don't like negative vibes, negative energy. Like don't come in my YouTube space talking shit. And so I, um, and I only want you to be here, like, if you're learning something, right? If I could teach you something or if I could, you know, make you have an aha moment. So I'm starting to do something where if you go to my blog, um, I'm asking you questions in the blog and you can answer them on the blog. So basically one of the things I asked is, you know, because I was dealing with being overwhelmed, like, how do you deal with being overwhelmed? Like, how do you handle feeling overwhelmed, right? Like, of course, one of the things I recommend is breathing, right? Breathing and doing deep work. If you're not familiar with deep work, deep work is basically where you like break things down into like 90 minute blocks and you focus no phone, just no, you know, multitasking. You focus on that task, right? So, and that's from, a uh, Cal Newport. Ah, uh, yeah, Cal Newport, that's from his book. I had to look at my little library over there. That's from his book, Deep Work. So um, yeah, so focus, do one thing at a time. Something that I noticed um, over the past few weeks is, and actually I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump around a little bit on my blog because um, something that I've noticed over the past few weeks and then something that I noticed yesterday uh, that goes with this is so, um, there's been like a huge uptick in people DMing about working with me. Well, they don't know it's me, but working with the brands, right? Um, they want to, you know, they're content creators, influencers, um, and they want to work with the brand. And you know, like I am all for content creators. I'm all for influencers, especially because I know that it's not easy. But if that's something that you want to do and that's your passion, like I'm all for it. But the problem with a lot of um, content creators and influencers is they think it's easy. They think it's a phase. Um, they think it's an era, not era. Like... <laughs> like yeah like an era um in their life and they just try to jump on that content creator bandwagon and it's like just because the good ones make it look easy doesn't mean it's easy um so anyway i've been noticing like an uptick in my um in the dms from content creators who want to work with me um and i don't know if it's like the current economy is making people become content creators, um, if they're trying to take advantage of businesses, like small businesses that need, um, content creators right now. Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, but so back when I first started, um, MB Trust Treats back in like 2016, so like 2017, 2018, um, I was getting a lot, a lot of DMs from content, like, multiple times a day. I used to share them on my Snapchat because it would be wild. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, and so it's, it's not as bad as that, but it's getting there. And so, um, you know, some of them 
literally have said, I'm in my content creating era. Like, can I work with your brand? Some of them have said, can I, I am new to content creating and want to grow my brand. Can I, and it's like, that's so wild because the entitlement of like, you want me to work with you to help you grow your brand. There was nothing in your pitch that benefited me. It's so wild. There was one that I got that was really, she seemed like she was really sincere and she was like, you know, um, she took all the keywords from my website, which I was like, oh, okay, you actually went and looked at my stuff. Okay. You know, good on you. But I'm just at this moment, I'm not interested in working with anybody right now. Um, so I'm curious as to if you're experiencing that and how do you handle, um, working with content creators? Do you work with content creators? What are your experiences? So anyway, so going back to, um, this morning I was, okay. This past week I've been sick. Um, you could probably tell I'm a little, still a little congested, but I've been sick. And so I was going through my old DMs and I had DMs from like hundred weeks ago, like 70, like, you know, that hidden box in your, um, in your DMs. So I went through and I had so many of those like content creator messages. I had so many mess, like all types of wild messages. And I'm just like, Oh my God. Like, I wish I could share, like, I sh like I could have did a whole episode just on DMs, you know? And so, um, it's interesting because I'm like, Oh, you know, some people would be like, you should be grateful if someone wants to work with your brand. And then other bu businesses would understand, like, I can't keep giving away free stuff. Right. Like, so, yeah. So I just thought it was pretty interesting. All of the, um, all of the comments I had, all of the people, all of the pitches, all of the people asking like for free stuff. It's, it's very, uh, it's very interesting. Um, so let's see. Um, okay. So something that I noticed <clears throat> over the past few weeks is that as small businesses, we work for ourselves, but we rely a lot on other things, right? to get us, uh, to get our business done. And one of them is other, um, one of them is other businesses. And something that happened to me recently is, so I, I order labels a lot from bulk apothecary.com, right? I've been ordering labels from them since about 2018. And I know they're a smaller business. And so, you know, I support them and, um, I mean, they're not like really like small, but like, you know what I'm saying? And, but they've been really effing up in my labels and it's like, okay, I can go to a whole nother company that's located in my state and pay a hundred, a whole hundred dollars less for the same thing and get a turnaround in six days versus six weeks. It's like, I, you know, and you know, it's like, it's what do you do? Right. And of course I'm going to have to go with the other company because duh, but it's like, we rely so much on other, other things. Like they, what happened was I needed my labels and when you need something like it pushes back your production of your products. Right. So it's all like a, um, a domino effect. So we have, you know, we rely on, um, small businesses, you know? Um, okay. So let's see. After a week <laughs> filled with lots of tears, doubts, low sales, I ended the week inspired at least that week. So let's see, moving on. Um, okay. I'll share a customer story. Um, let's see, moving on. Ma oh, make sure you're responding to your customers. One, a terrible habit, a habit that I have is opening a message and then, not responding to it for like a couple days later and it's a terrible habit that I have and I need to break the habit but sometimes like I'll go to check my email just to like check it to see if there's anything like pressing you know and then there's something in that's not pressing but something that needs to be addressed and then I don't address it at the time and then I'm like I forget and then um I don't do it until like three days later or something so when you go to check your dms your emails make sure you're ready to respond at that time, right? Like, so grab your coffee, 
and just be ready to respond, especially um, because when you open those DMs and it says seen, like that's the worst when like someone sees it and then you don't respond, like, or you respond back like a week later and it's like, but you saw it, you know, and, and it's like, just because you open the message and just because they are me like mess checking messages and sending messages at like three in the morning, it doesn't mean you have to respond at that time, but I think it looks kind of bad when you open it and like let it sit for like five days. So just, you know, get in the habit of answering your messages when you, um, when you re like, when you open them. So sit, be prepared to like do messages when you open your messages. Um, let's see. Over the weekend, I got a message from a longtime customer. Long time in the sense is that she's been following the business for a long time. She comments occasionally. She purchased. It's been some years since she purchased, but she wanted to know if she could send her bonnet back to get the elastic replaced. And um, she purchased the bonnet in 2020, just to give you some um, some background. So instantly, I'm like, Are you kidding me? Like four years ago like bonnets don't last forever it's so crazy like I don't think your panties don't last forever your leggings don't last like, elastic doesn't last forever so it boggles my mind when people think like their bonnet's gonna last forever and when they want to send it back to get the elastic replaced and so instantly I was like really girl you know it's been four years but something that I'm learning is like to take a step back put yourself in their shoes and um you know be think of um, to be grateful for every situation, right? Like gratitude in every situation. So, um, I was just like, okay, she loves her bonnet that much that she wants to, you know, she doesn't want to waste the fabric. She just wants the elastic to be, be replaced. And some things I used to do an elastic replacement program, right? The problem is people would mail me dirty bonnets and how do you mail someone a dirty bonnet? Like, so I stopped doing that. I stopped doing it because it, bad for um bad hygiene it was just it was gross right like I would open it and I'm like you want me to t like so I no longer offer bonnet uh elastic replacement anyway I could I told her I couldn't do it for her but I did offer her another option and she took the other option which was to buy a new bonnet um in the same print I was able to find the same print so that was good um let's see um, what else? Oh, I've started selling a product on, uh, my That's That Magic is available on Amazon. Um, it wasn't that difficult to get it on Amazon. Um, you know, it was time consuming. It was a little tedious, but, um, yeah, it wasn't that hard. Amazon support sucks, but because I am a brand owner, um, I learned that they do... I don't want to say cater more, but I did, um, have someone personally reach out to me until I was able to talk to like speak to someone. So if you're going to sell on Amazon, I recommend you being a, the brand owner to be the brand owner. You have to trademark your brand. So just something to think about. Um, let's see. Oh, so, uh, speaking of that set magic, I have some new videos I uploaded on that set magic. YouTube and those videos are like over 5,000 views wild and I wonder why <laughs> like it's it's um I'm curious as to why and how so you know yeah very interesting so I mean I'm clapping for it but it's it's that's very interesting um I did get a few dislikes and I'm always like who dislikes a YouTube video I've never disliked a YouTube video like I just close it like have you ever disliked a YouTube video? Um, so yeah. So let's see. Oh, I just wanted to give you a little pep talk just because, just because your followers aren't increasing because I know my followers have been decreasing like crazy on my MP trust treats. Um, doesn't mean they're not seeing you. Doesn't mean they're not following you. I mean, they're not watching you. Um, but also I heard a lot of uh, there's been a lot of decrease in followers because, um, Instagram is clearing out like bots and scam and spam and all that. So don't be discouraged. Um, let's see, uh, what else has been going on? 
Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. I've been procrastinating like crazy. Um, if you're not familiar with The War of Art, not to be confused with The Art of War, but The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, he talks about procrastination and he's talking about me at the moment. Um, so check out that book. Um, it's actually a really good book. So The War of Art. Um, something else. Use your friends and family to create content. Um, I had a neighbor help me with a YouTube video last week and um yeah and so I uploaded that video and just you know get your content out there like look I'm recording in my living room like get your content out there um it's never gonna be the right time you're never gonna have the right space just put it out there right and then as time goes on you're gonna get better with repetition so um yeah so like I said I I have been sick for the last week I intended to upload this video last week but life happened I got sick and um I'm slowly getting better so I did take two days off to actually lay in bed which is like I never do but um I did so make sure you listen to your body make sure you rest and um oh my gosh you hear that oh so listen to your body make sure you're resting and yeah and so that's it um that's all for now thank you so much for being here don't forget to go to the blog and like respond to the questions that are on the blog and remember to do what makes you the happiest and remember to be the you that makes you the happiest drink your water and mind your business thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe love ya